Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. So today I'm going to show you my primary flight display, PFD, and it's styled in the uh, style of a Garmin. So, okay, let's start off with the S buttons. So I'm only using the S1 and S6 in this gauge. And S1 is used to toggle the Q&H mode from minibars to HG. And the right dial is used to set the altitude. And I normally have mine, yeah, I have mine on minibars. No, sorry, HG. Okay, the left dial has no function on this gauge and the S6 basically toggles the background colouring of the bars so you can go from totally transparent to a light, medium and dark uh, transparency on the bars. I prefer medium. Okay, so it has all the standard stuff, you know, you've got your attitude gauge, you've got your slip guides, You've got your glide slope, um, you've got a radio height, so height to ground, your direction, you have a compass, you've got your true airspeed, you've got your Mach speed, you've got your autopilot altitude setting, um, and also you have the flight director display as well. Now, You've also got warnings like stall and overspeed. So let's see if I can keep those in by stalling the plane. There we go. You can see it all turns red. So you've got stall guides. Also, if you're pulling up too hard, you've got the um, V in red to indicate that uh, you need to be going the other way. Um, and if you go down sharp as well, you get the same in the other direction. Now, You'll also find that I say it will go red if you overspeed as well. So this is now telling me I should be pulling up and I'm flat out. And let's see how quickly I can bring up my speed and overspeed it. There we go. So now I've exceeded the maximum speed and I pull back and I clear that as well. So there's also ground warnings um, and some other little um, indicators as well on here. Okay, so let's pull the speed back and put my autopilot back on. Okay, so you have all the standard stuff like your uh, indicated air speed, your um, altitude, and you've also got a vertical speed indicator down on the right hand side as well. Um, you also have four different bugs. So you've got the heading bug. So as I change the heading, you can see the heading bug moves there. You've also got a vertical speed bug. Um, if I set my autopilot on and change my altitude, you can see the vertical speed bug kicks in. And if I set my altitude down to match what I'm actually at, you should see the, there you go, the altitude bug there as well. And you have got the airspeed bug. So you've got the one, two, three, four, various different um, bugs that come along with the gauge. Um, the flight director, I think is awesome. So for those of you that aren't too lazy to fly manually, you can flick the flight director on, turn off your autopilot, and then you can fly to the flight director. So I'm changing my heading, and it's telling me I need to turn, and I'll change my altitude, and it's telling me to climb. So now I just simply fly the plane into the flight director, and once you've got it lined up, that's basically telling you that where and how you should be flying. Uh, in fact, I've started to fly manually a lot more using this than I did before when I would just hit the autopilot and it would do it for me. So I'll hit the autopilot and it's a much better pilot than I am and it'll fly straight to the flight director settings. So that pretty much covers the gauge. There's a lot to it. Um, I don't think I've missed anything from the flight direct, uh, sorry, from the PFD. So I hope you like this gauge. Um, I think it's great. And I've been using this since I've uh, created it. And um, I hope you like it, check it out and come back and check out some other videos as well. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so and see you soon.